Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at, what is a go-around, in an aircraft. What is a go-around? In an aircraft, a go-around occurs when the cockpit crew decide to discontinue an approach, or discontinue a landing. Once a decision has been made, to perform a go-around, the pilots have to follow certain procedures, to perform the go-around, and try another approach at the same airport, or divert to a different airport. Let's look at why, and how a go-around is performed. Why is a go-around performed? The decision to perform a go-around is made, if the aircraft cannot land safely, on the runway. This may be due to external, or internal factors. The external factors include, an aircraft, or any ground vehicle, or animals, on the active runway, or sudden gusts of wind, or crosswinds. The internal factors, refer to any failures, within an aircraft, which can have an impact on the safe landing. Generally, an aircraft should be configured for landing, before it reaches a particular altitude, while descending. If the aircraft is not stabilized for landing, at this altitude, a go-around has to be performed. How to perform a go-around? A go-around should always be performed, before any deceleration devices, such as spoilers, brakes, and reversers, are activated. To perform a go-around, the following actions are taken. Increase engine power. Pitch up the aircraft. Stabilize the aircraft. Gradually retract flaps. Adjust the pitch and speed as required. When performing a go-around, on bigger aircraft, when it is close to the ground, a tail strike may occur. So the aircraft should be gradually pitched up. When the flaps are retracted, the climb rate of the aircraft decreases. However the drag also decreases, which means the aircraft can fly faster, and more lift is generated, which compensates for the loss of lift. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.